It's Reveille. Two months ago, I introduced my listeners to the plight of my brother-in-law, Dave, and sister-in-law, Marietta, and their simple request to reestablish her green card status so that they could move back permanently to the United States. To recap, over two years ago, after living in Australia for 30 years, they decided to leave Australia after seeing the COVID tyranny displayed by the government. David and their two U.S.-born children hold dual citizenship. His wife, Marietta, holds citizenship in Australia and the Philippines and had been a U.S. green card holder until it accidentally lapsed. While living in Australia for over 30 years, they still filed joint U.S. federal tax returns together and owned U.S. property. Dave is an Air Force veteran. Marietta has no criminal record. She is financially well off and needs no government support. Unbelievably, they were told it would take 11 to 17 months to get a new green card for Marietta. Well, it has now been over 26 months and counting. Well, here's the update. The latest injustice is that Marietta must ask for a waiver from taking the COVID shot. Meanwhile, in the same amount of time since Dave and Marietta have put in a request to legally enter the country, Joe Biden has allowed over 7 million unvaccinated folks to enter illegally, including picking up over 320,000 of them in foreign countries and flying them to a city of their choosing. And in the last two years, the state of Illinois has spent 2 to $3 billion on illegals and non-citizens, and the country has spent hundreds of billions giving out free everything. It's maddening to see illegal behavior rewarded and good productive citizens marginalized and abused by government bureaucrats and elected officials who refuse to step in and help. I'm Jeannie Ives. To learn more, listen to my radio show from 7 to 9 p.m. on Sunday and sign up for my newsletter at breakthrough-ideas.com.